Hi, good morning folks, it's Simon here from Vans today in Worcester. I'm here to give you a video walk around of this 2014 Audi A4 3 litre TDI Quattro um, all road. So a relatively rare bit of kit, got to be said, uh, with a later S-Tronic gearbox in it. Um, really, really nice condition this thing. Uh, it has been owned by a friend of ours. Uh, no, unfortunately, the number plate does not come with it. Uh, that is in the process of being taken off. Um, I think it's in pretty impressive round condition. Um, so the purpose of our videos, if you haven't watched them before, is to give you a warts and all video walk around of the vehicle so you get an idea of exactly what it is that you're buying. Now the vast majority of our customers do purchase having watched these videos. Leave a deposit and come and collect or leave a deposit and get a quote for delivery. Yes, we can finance. Yes, we can part exchange. Yes, you get a warranty. Yes, you will get a fully prepared vehicle. Ask for details with reference to that. Um, but let's get going on the video, shall we? Okay, we're going to start up here on the roof like we always do with the vans. Um, all good, all round condition, no dents, dings, no damage up there. You've got the nice aluminium finish on the uh, on your grab whales. As you can see, it's not had any crossbars on it, so there's no damage to those on either side either. Coming down to your front windscreen, the front windscreen is in good overall condition. There are no major stone chips or cracks or anything like that that's going to worry us when it comes to MOT time down onto the bonnet and again the bonnet is in great all-round condition now have a look at the MOT history on this car you will know it's not been doing mega mileage um, a year it's not uh, it's been uh, more of his long distance cruiser in between Cornwall and Worcestershire um, when he needs to get down there but uh, other than that it doesn't do a lot of mileage at home so the bonnet isn't uh, stone chipped or uh, massively stone chipped there are a couple of minor bits but on the whole very nice. Now look at the reflection on that paintwork. That gives you an idea of how well it's been looked after. When I say stone chips, okay, so there are some minor, minor little ones. We will go around it with a touch-up stick and just get those touched in for you, okay, but it's not peppered with them. Uh, the front of the car, the front grills, front bumper, etc, all in great condition. Passenger side headlamp unit, all good. Obviously it's automatic headlamps on it. Front fog lights, that's all in good condition, and your front bumper corner on the passenger side, all very nice, no um, bumper scuffing or anything like that. Look down the side profile of the vehicle, and you can see you've got a lovely reflection to the paintwork. There are no major dents, or in fact, there aren't any really dings or dents to point out to you. It is very, very straight and tidy. Round to the driver's side, driver's side headlamp unit, that's all good. Driver's side front bumper corner, that's all good. Front fog light this side's all good. You will notice it does have front and rear parking sensors on it as well. And then looking down the side profile of the vehicle from this angle, again, very straight and tidy. No dental dings to point out to you. Nice reflection in the paintwork. Happy days. Obviously, being in the all road, you do get the um, extra arches. Those are all in good condition with no scuffing on your driver's side front. We drive side front alloy wheel. We have a minor little bit of paint flake there on the alloy wheel, but nothing major. We have a Michelin tire on that side. That tire has that element of tire tread depth on there. Where we are with tire tread depths, anything less than three millimeters, we replace the legal limit being 1.6. Mirror unit with integrated indicator is all good. You know, if we're being fussy, we've got a really, really minor little mark there, but that might actually polish out. Mirror unit itself's good. Driver's side door glass, that's all good. Driver's side door itself, good overall condition. Get down low, check out your lower sills. Those are in good condition as well. Driver's side rear door is also in good condition, as is the door glass. Close up of your door handle and lock, that's all good. It's lived out in the countryside, this one, so no signs of any kind of break-ins or anything. Alignment of your doors are all looking good. And then rear quarter, driver's side, all looking in very neat, tidy condition as well. We have a Continental tyre on the back end of it. So you've got 245, 4518s. That alloy wheel is in good order. And that tyre has plenty of tyre tread depth on there. Fuel filler this side, push it in, opens it up. There's your fuel filler. And let's just give you an overview of the side of the vehicle on this side. And as you can see, it looks really respectable, doesn't it? Driver's side rear light units, all in good condition, no damage. Driver's side 
rear bumper corner again overall con good condition we have a really minor little stone chip here we'll get that touched in for you your rear reflectors in good order and just give you another view of the vehicle from this side and you can see all looks very nice now we do have a power tailgate on it rear end of the vehicle again overall very nice and tidy so tailgate glass all good it's no uh, excessive scratching from the rear wiper or anything tailgate itself again all good have a look at the top end of your rear bumper and again overall good condition we have a couple of really minor little marks there and a little minor mark there but overall nice and tidy hit the power tailgate button as you can see that works lovely there's your button to close it and then inside your tailgate we have the luggage cover all present and correct our cover plates couldn't get those on because the number plates are very tight um, and then inside the boot we have all very neat and tidy it's not been abused you have your luggage divider there under here we have a little handle here there's your spare wheel for the old gadget but it is there storage behind these things 12 volt power is here as well but as you can see all of your plastics and stuff they're not scratched to pieces by dogs or battered by heavy items being carried in the back of it it's all nice and tidy inside of your tailgate difficult to show you because of the battling the sunlight here today but that's all nice and tidy as well rear light unit passenger side that's all good rear bumper corner passenger side again overall good condition the very slightest of little marks there again we'll touch it in but nothing major reflector is all present and correct and in good order and then looking down the passenger side again really nice and tidy rear quarter this side all good arches are all good uh, alloy wheel this side again nice tidy condition so you've got continental on this axle so Again, you've got two Continentals on your rear axle. You've got two Michelins on your front axle. So they all match up nicely. A little bit of corrosion on the alloy wheel there. Tire on this side, very similar to your tire tread depth on the other side. They were changed at the same time as you should do with a Quattro. Rear doors, again, all good. Get down low, check out your lower sills. Those are all good. Front passenger door, all neat and tidy as well wing mirror unit with integrated indicators all good door glass along this side all good and then down to your front wing and arch that's also in nice tidy condition as well alloy wheel this side again overall very good condition a minor little mark there but nothing major and again the michelin tire tire tread depth very similar to the other side as well now inside the vehicle we'll start from the passenger side rear passenger side rear door card nice overall condition rear seats as you can see clean and tidy haven't done a lot of hard work these kids are too old now to sit in the back they've got their own cars so they've not been kicked to death by young children and then inside the back you've got your carpet mats those are all good have a look at your headlining and the headlining is all in good overall condition as well passenger side front door card again Overall clean and tidy. Door bends, bins are clean and tidy. Your door shuts, all neat and tidy. Take note of all of your bolts along there. Those are all the original bolts. You can just tell it hasn't had any uh, paint work off on it. Panel work off on it. Entry sills and plastics are in great condition. Your carpet over mats in the front are also good. Yes, you do have a passenger airbag. Uh, yes, your grill vents are all good. Top of the dashboard's all good. And then your passenger side seat trim that's also in great condition as well around to the driver's side and your driver's side rear door card that's in great condition as well entry seals and plastics on this side are also in good order carpet over mats we'll give me another quick flick through the hoover obviously some of the lads have obviously put their feet in them but um, yeah, seat trim and everything. It's all very neat, neat, neat and tidy. There's no excessive wear or tear on the vehicle at all. Driver's side door card, that's also in good order. 
obviously electric windows, electric heated mirrors, central locking, there's your electronic tailgate release, door bins are clean and tidy and your um, door shuts are also clean and tidy. Now, I don't know what's gone on in the last 24 hours since it's been valeted. It seems every man and his dog has got into it and moved it. So obviously your carpet over mats will be recleaned. The seats themselves, seats themselves, check out the photos online. That gives you a better indication of what they're like. The iPhone camera is like some kind of uh, radar and uh, radar, probably not, uh, x-ray machine. It, it, it sometimes doesn't portray the seats in the best light, but the like, seats are all nice and tidy and clean. Auto lights, front and rear fog lights. We have a leather multifunction steering wheel. You do have your paddle shift on here as well. There is no excessive wear or tear onto your steering wheel. It's all very nice. Um, let's just fire it up. Fires it up, go see your systems check. All your warning lights go out. Yes, it's telling me the driver's door's open and I've got the engine running. Uh, seat belt's not on, but as you can see, everything is, all, your, all, the, all the instrument binnacle is very clean and tidy. MMI system, got your Audi nav system on there, you got Bluetooth telephone, Bluetooth music. Um, let me have a look at the wave band, oh hang on a second. So we got uh, long wave, medium wave, and uh, FM, AM, and DAB as well, happy days. Bluetooth telephone, Bluetooth music, as you'd expect. Automatic gearbox, all of your switch gears, all nice. Electronic handbrake, climate control. Um, everything is as you would expect it to be. Cup holders, etc., armrest, all nice. Let's have a quick gander under the bonnet, shall we? Bonnet on hydraulic struts, which is nice. There's your overview underneath your bonnet. Uh, now, wing bolts, these are all original. Bonnet bolts are all original. Coolers, fresh colour coolers, rowdy. And then the engine itself, you've got a massive slab of plastic on the top of it, but as you can hear, it ticks over nicely. Very clean and tidy under there as well. Give it a little bit of a look, you can see, hopefully. Oil being thrown around anywhere, or anything like that. Three litre V6 TDI, cracking engine. Got this one in my uh, in my Amarok as well. And there we go, my friends. Now there are 50 to 60 photos of this vehicle on our website. Our website is vanstoday.com. We are Vans Today Worcester, based in the centre of the country, offering you nationwide delivery, part exchange, and finance. Feel free to give us a call 01905 672 080 or email us at sales at vanstoday.com. If you're worried about how you're buying off, check out our reputation online. We have reviews, Google, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, TikTok, uh, ooh, what else? A bit of uh, trust pilot. Uh, nothing to hide. Spade is a spade here. Um, hopefully you'll appreciate that that is an honest review of the vehicle that you're looking at. Well done. 13 minutes of your life you're never going to get back. But if you are interested in this vehicle, it gives you an honest description of what you're looking at. Cheers, folks. Bye.